Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today I'm going to give you the project files for free, so if you get lost, it's okay. But we're going to continue our If I Produce For series, and uh, today we're going to focus on the Drake type beat. Okay, so if you want the project files, just go to BusyWorksBeats.com slash FL Studio, or just click the link below so you don't get lost. So if you don't know me, I'm Game from BusyWorksBeats.com. We've trained over 700,000 producers around the world. Some have gone to work with Drake, Young Thug, Post Malone, YG, French Montana, Ray Schremer, NBA Youngboy, Ariana Grande. Did I say Post Malone? Young Thug. I probably, I'm starting to repeat myself. Basically, the people on the billboard. And I want to thank you for hopping in with me today. And I'm going to guide you step by step. We're going to make our Drake beat in FL Studio. And uh, I'm going to use sounds from different plugins, but you can always swap out the plugin for whatever sound you want. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with an Arturia uh, sound base, and let's go with the. I want to say CS80 it gives me a lot of analog. Lab is always cool, um, but let's start with the CS80 first, and then if we have trouble, then I'll go to Analog Lab. Analog Lab is like Arturia's version of Omnisphere in a way. So here I'm using this plugin. My best friend Jacob put me on this, onto this plugin. Uh, now let's start with some keys or something. Something just different. It just sounds different. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what it's doing first before I... Can't really tell what it's doing. Okay, let's start with this one. So I learned this from MG The Future. He talks about what's called a 6 nine chord or a six add nine chord and it really did change the way i uh, write r&b chords so let's use that in here let's go to 160 bpm let's go to pattern mode so we're going to start with let's say a major now the six add nine chord for those who don't know is more of a major chord so we want to start off with a major to begin with so let's do a major seventh stamp you don't need to memorize chord codes right now but if you do want to learn more about chord codes how to make chords from absolutely knowing nothing about music theory uh, just go to busyworksbeats.com slash music theory. I map it out in detail there. But for now, we're just going to use the chord stamp tool. So that's a cool chord to start off on. So I'm going to go dun, dun. Now that dun is going to be the top note. And let's go to uh, chord stamp, advanced six, add nine chord. Make sure the top note is going to be that G sharp. See how it just sounds super dope? So the question is, do we wh how what rhythm do we want? Do we want boom, 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 or do we want boom, boom? So we have to determine what kind of bounce we want. Now we want boom. So the chances are we want a minor seventh here. Boom. And it just oh, that actually sounded pretty dope. So that was an accident, but it sounded dope. So let's grab this. I'm actually going to save this because this MIDI is actually pretty darn fire. We're building a pack called Narcos, and I'll have more details as we go. So let's just export that because that was so fire. I'm going to put this in my Narcos folder under MIDI. Let's say synth melodies, and let's call this. Actually, it's more of a piano melody or a piano chord. Let's call it Drake Vibes. All right. Okay, but on the second run, we're gonna sh hit shift, hit control, left click and highlight, hit uh, shift, left click and drag. Again, you will get these project files. So if you ever get lost along the way, no worries. You're gonna get the project files with all the MIDI and everything inside. So now we have that like island vibe. I'm gonna save the sound because it sounds pretty dope. For your time. In your time. I know you hear Drake already. Let's go to song mode. Now the question is, how do we keep it light, but still? Let's go to friend sounds and let's find some percussion. Now I'm gonna go more like dance hall type. So Ramon has a kit. Um, he's known for his like Afro beats. So we're gonna pick from his sounds because I feel like. Oh, actually, that's right. We got to give you the project file. So let's not use this stuff right now. Let's use samples, one shots, find some percussion in here. We need some wooden percussion. So 
So I'm gonna go boom, boom. Okay, let's go to pattern mode, turn on your rent, the uh, metronome. Now notice I'm using two different samples of the same thing, but they have different velocities. So it goes, okay, so it's not the same sample. Most people use the same samples. Let's go to song mode. Okay, let's add more light percussion. We need like a, not like a shaker, but like a. Actually, this one's dope. Now this one I'm gonna add through, I know I'm kind of jumping ahead. This one we're gonna add through a lot of reverbs. So let's go to pattern three, add it on the downbeat, and we're gonna run it through reverb. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly. You can add reverb two, for example. Turn the reverb, reverb level to 100%, turn down the dry level, give it a long decay. And then I'll turn up the volume so you can hear it. So it just adds that vibe. And it goes. Okay, so now we have the atmosphere, very minimalistic. You wanna keep it light with the percussion. Now let's think about hand drums. So I like this, but not all the hits. So we're just gonna trim this and turn the length down to get rid of all those extra hits. Okay, so we're gonna use this as a snare drum. So it's one, two, three, bang. One, two, three, bang. Turn on the metronome. One, two, three, bang. One, two, three, bang. One, two, three, bang. One, two, three, bang. Just turn it down. Thicken up those uh, cl clave hits. This is that Kanye West distorted sound, conga. I don't think we need a conga here. Let's just keep previewing sounds. add this in is like a, a more hyped up to control L so it's boom 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 so let's add that in two three boom, 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 boom. now add this in over time so it's a build-up element usually to build up a track any sounds with a lot of harmonics or like bright frequencies if you add those in it'll make the sound bigger So the rest is up to you what you want to do. Now we're going to add the modern drums after this. Now I want to look for a cymbal. We just need like a. Something kind of like. Even this one, this one's pretty good. So this is going to be our transition type of sound. And let's go to channel rack. Hit control L, send it to the mixer, turn the volume down. And I'll show you a trick. Hit shift here make this uh, unique and then we're going to go to the top left go to channel settings hit reverse and now we're going to use it as a transition effect so for this one you can get rid of the little blip at the end just turn off your stretch mode if you have it on under audio clips turn that off hit option or alt excuse me and left click to get rid of that first little clicky part of the sample and we're going to hit sh uh, alt and left click and drag this until it lines up with the grid and you'll see what it sounds like once we get there mm -hmm. 
See how it just transitions like that? You can add reverb to add more tail to the cymbal. Okay, now let's get into the, uh, the modern sounds. Okay, let's add the more modern sounds to it, just to add more clarity and punch. Pattern six, one, two, so. yet because we didn't get to the bass yet but the hi-hats if they're already I think we're gonna go you don't need to overdo the kick like most people think we're building a trap beat so they'll slam their kick like this we don't need the kick to hit that hard on this type of beat See how it just needs those in-between rhythms? Here's where your hi-hats come into play or like high uh, pitch percussion. So boom. Okay, let's add that in. Super simple, barely anything. We just needed some kind of other high frequency thing. So, so. I'll show you a trick here. Um, since we have an open, a uh, closed hi-hat right next to the open hi-hat, I'll add it on the downbeat. And then we wanna go to the wrench tool. It says cut nine by nine. We're gonna go to the open hi-hat, go to the wrench tool, change it to the same number so that it will cut the sound off when it's... Let me get rid of this uh, little delay. So it doesn't go... It goes like... It cuts itself off. Speed up the tempo a little bit. It's a little too fast. So 166 feels like the right BPM. And then you can go back and add more snares, like whatever sounds you want. Let's grab some from uh, BusyWorks Beats. that layer the clap to do this is actually the snare fits better than instead of the rim let's switch the snare so you, I'll give you options so you could let's do this one it just sounds more proper for this track Tune in the uh, snare a little bit. Now you could do a little drum feel like I just don't want to overkill the beat. Uh, now let's do, I'm trying to think of a synth that will give us the sound we're looking for. Probably silent. Now this is just the easy, every synth has like different things. You could use serum too, but silent just is easier for me. So let's pull up the uh, voices to eight. Detune it to add a low pass filter, then add what's called a resonance, and then pull this down an octave or two. Now we get that Drake tone. Let's add mono legato mode and add what's called portamento. So the notes bend. And now we're just gonna add the uh, bending bass lines. Dun.
So let's do. It's a little hard to hear because it's a filter, but let's add the bass in. I know it's hard to hear, so let me just turn off the filter so you could hear what the heck I'm listening to. Now the I just realized the main sounds a little detuned, so we gotta pitch this to match the actual sound. I'm looking for a fine tune knob. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. So it's pitched up a little bit from 440 hertz. It's not this sound here. It might be at 445, for example. Dun. Let's add the filter back. Bass could be better. Added chorusing to make it a little more blurry. Okay, now let's add like some kind of moving melody or something on top, like little passing notes. Out of key. Let's add a little low pass to the uh, snare. Gonna change that bass line. So at the end, I'm not gonna let that chord just play by itself. We're gonna, I think this is a minor. Yeah, so let's switch it to a major. You don't need to know what I'm doing right here. I'm just switching up the chord type so that it feels like it's moving. Now it's too jazzy. Let's do another chord that I like. In the events tab is called the uh, where is it at minor nine flat five this may or may not sound good in this vibe i'm not sure let's try it yes yeah, a little too many notes mm. trying to decide maybe just tap it twice there, there we go I think we need a let's just add a hi-hat in here, steady hi-hat. So you can change up the rhythms of the percussion. Yeah, I like that. So let's add it. Let's clone this. My brain wants to hear this right at that point. Just something to add more bounce. So let's try it. Let's 
So we're trying to keep the same tone. So I'm going under the wrench tool, turn it down. What's called Mod X. This adds a low pass filter to the sound. Also delaying your kick can add a little groove to the track. Delaying that snare and kick so it's not super on the grid. Do we have reverb here? I don't think so. Now what I would do, you can add any reverb you want. I'm gonna add Altiverb just to show you what this could sound like with the right reverb that I like specifically. So I'm gonna use the preset from the Rev 7, which is a large hall reverb. I'm gonna send the chords, uh -oh, where's the screen at? Do we get, it looks like we have a little glitch, so give me a second here, let's do this. Whenever your screen glitches, cl uh, click quit, and then it'll go back. So we're gonna go to the main sound and run it through some reverb on track, where, what track did I do it on? Track 20. Make it a lot bigger, more emotional. Notice I'm cutting the high end off a lot of the sound. So I'm gonna play the bass a little bit differently. I know it's hard to hear, but I'm just gonna make it fit in the groove better. accidentally played the bass wrong a little bit, but it's all good. We're gonna hit Alt Q, quantize that. I like that groove better for the bass, instead of that downbeat bass I had. It just needs like a transition, like something like that. I still feel like the hi-hats are a little too bright. So notice everything's getting shaved off the top. Let's brighten up this pad. I'm moving a little bit quicker here because this is kind of like. Let's go back to this arterial plugin real quick. I like that preset. I just want to try other ones. Now this is tuned back to 440, whereas the other one was up a little bit. I'll reset the tuning.
change the bass to a triangle wave, it just sounds smoother. So I'm gonna add little tiny ghost notes. You're not gonna notice them. Like, boom, doom, like doom, doom. Just to make them really, really small. Now this is just for like subconscious movement. I kind of want to add a dude. I want to add a bass thing here, but let's see. Like, let my brain think. This may or may not sound good. Well, that definitely doesn't sound good. much movement. Kind of like this, it reminds me of the 80s. Now we're just kind of fighting with which sound we want. trying different sounds. These are all very bright. <laughs> Except that one. So I like the guitar one the most. It's caught my ear the most. I think it's called electric, bright electric. We're just shaving off the high end a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. Actually, I'm gonna take out the dump, dump, cause that might, actually, let's see. Here's what I'll do. I'll just turn the volume down, which is what I meant to do. But we need to set the velocity to control the volume. What kind of vocal you're gonna add? What key are we in? I forgot which key we're in. Let's figure out the key. You're in B flat minor. So let's go to minor. That's 
exactly what Drake would say. So let's sing that. Okay, so let's listen to it. I need you right now. I need you right now. So this is the 18. Now, I'm not going to well, I'll save I the vocals, but that was not me being. That's a good reference here. I need you right now. Something's off beat. I'll just EQ it a little bit. We don't need to go too deep into vocal mixing right now. I need you. a bunch of plugins on right now um what else do we need? Let's let me say in the six where you at man let me say in the six where you at man yo to come through baby boo what it do you can wear lingerie yo to come through Baby, boo, what it do? You can wear lingerie, yo, to come through. Baby, boo, what it do? All right, so I'm just adding all these plugins just to show you like where you could take it with the artist or a demo that you're doing. Yo, 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 to come through. Oh, I know why, because it's not direct. I was wondering why it sounded so weird. Yo. Yo. To come through. Where's our box? Where is it? Yo, to come through, baby boo. What it do? You can wear lingerie. Yo, to come through. Again, this is not a proper vocal mixing chain. I'm just slapping stuff on just to give you somewhat of an a gist of what it could sound like. This is not a vocal chain. Yo, to come, baby, boo, do. You can wear lingerie, you could too. One night, too, baby. back 
So again, I don't want to spend a decade on this. There's a lot of stuff we got to do to clean this. Excuse me, clean this up. We could do this one. Where's the other one? RxD. Okay, so we got to learn the. Yo, to come through, baby boo. What is do? This adds a little delay. Yo, to come through, baby boo. What is do? So again, I'm adding direct delay just because I like it. I like it like that. Again, we're not going ham with the vocals. Yo, yo, to come through, baby, boo. What it do? You can wear lingerie. You good too. One night too, baby, you. I don't know where all my gain waves plugins are. I need you right now. Where's the beats? I need you right now. I need you right now. I need you to come through, baby. Boo, what it do? You can wear lingerie. You could too. I didn't even have saturation. One night too. Baby, you. I need you right. I forgot one thing. So, is that a side chain to the uh, pads? I'm gonna right click, side chain to that track. And you could do. Uh, let's do C. I'm gonna do a little more advanced. So, this is called C6 side chain. Get it processing. We're gonna turn it on. Right click, select your kick. Go back to the front. I don't know why all my numbers are just like not there on the waves thing, but yo, uh, that's weird. So let's click external input. Yo, so every time the kick hits, it takes out the volume. Baby, boo. Again, I don't know what's wrong with the numbers here, so don't know what to tell you. Yo. To come through, baby, boo. What it do? You can wear lingerie. You could too. One night too. So that's just so we understand where the vocal would be. It's had a little time delay to these uh
find our base. I lost the base. Oh, it's on track 14. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my Waves plugins here. It's like they want you to update, so like they screw stuff up. I could be blaming them for no reason, but I recently went to the website to buy something. Open up Wave Central. So that's pretty much the gist. I don't want to keep dragging this out for little small details. And that needs a little tightening up. The mix, that's why I said I get so caught up in mixing sometimes that I could be here for two hours trying to get everything to sound supreme. But it does need more mixing attention to tighten it up. So I want to thank you for hopping in with me. Again, you get these project files for free. Just click that link below or go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. Thanks for watching. It's Game from busyworksbeats.com.